Welcome to Sanford Flip Math. Uh, this is AP Calculus. We are uh, finishing up the Chapter 2 in the Finney Demana Waits Kennedy book. Uh, chapter 2 is the limits chapter, and this is uh, the second video dealing with the practice test on 2, 1 through 4. And this video is really about uh, what I guess on the practice test we call number 7. And Really, I'm going to stick with just number seven this time with a little bit of an add-on. And this particular question asks a lot of questions about this graph. Um, so the graph is pretty clear. Uh, I'm sorry that the other stuff is not. It, it, uh, when I brought this in from the practice test, it treated it like a big image. And then because of scaling issues, it got a little fuzzy. So I apologize. So please feel free to refer to your practice test if you're having a hard time seeing what's going on. And I'll be talking about it. Uh, I'm going to kind of section this off a little bit uh, based on what the limits are about here just because, uh, you know, this little set here is all about x approaching negative 3, x approaching 0, and x approaching 6. And probably worth noting uh, in a bit, I'm going to talk about x approaching 2 from the left, right, etc. just so we have one more example. Uh, and then uh, we'll call it good for this video. Okay. Uh, if you are looking for feedback about just basic limit computation and 1 through 6 from the practice test, then you need to see the 1 through 6 video for this. This is just the number 7 video. Okay. All right. So let's start up. Uh, and one thing you should be aware of is that on, in a lot of books, on a lot of tests and stuff, uh, they don't always put the arrows even though I would love for them to put the arrows, uh, it, you get the impression that the function stops. So I'm, I just went ahead and put the arrows there just so you can see them, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? All right, so this says uh, find the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Now remember, this is an alternate way to type this limit. Uh, generally, I like it tucked underneath the lim, but it's fine that it's not. Uh, that's just my preference, okay? So as x approaches negative infinity, well, negative infinity is way, way, way to the left. So imagine yourself driving on a little road, and that little road is the graph of this function. And as you head toward x is negative infinity, the question is, what is y approaching? Well, to me, it looks like this graph is treating this negative 1, y equals negative 1, like a horizontal asymptote. Okay, so it looks to me like this graph is approaching negative 1 uh, as you go farther and farther to the left. Now I want to clean out some of that extra foo-foo stuff that I put there because when I get to the other questions, uh, you won't be able to see them. Okay, so way, way to the left, it looks like the graph is approaching negative 1. Now don't use an arrow for approaching on the y because the limit takes care of that idea. So that LIM makes it clear that we're asking what is y approaching and just leave the rest of it uh, just an equal sign. Okay? All right, uh, as x approaches negative 3 from the left, okay, so just a reminder that this means from the left, so we're approaching this value of negative 3, and we're going to do it from the left side. So it looks to me like we're approaching 2. As we approach that same x value of negative 3 from the right, again, it appears to me that we're approaching 2. So ultimately, the question then says, what if we're approaching just straight up negative 3? Well, these two guys have to match. And if they do, this, is a, this one is a two-sided limit, and it has the same answer. And that's it. Okay, now, I know I'm getting a lot of issues with people asking me, well, Mr. Sanford, what about the point is not there? Okay, please remember, it's not asking you f of negative 3. f of negative 3 is undefined. It's not here. It's missing. There, there is no point. What's the point? There is no point. Okay, at x equals negative 3, there are no points darkened in anywhere on this, this x value. Okay, so just, you, if you were asked what f of negative 3 is, it's undefined. There is no uh, x value, there is no y value for that point. The limit does exist, though, because the limit means what is y getting close to. Okay, all right, let's go to zero. So from the left, okay, that's what this means. Going to zero from the left, the y value is approaching zero. 
just ride on the graph. So this one says from the right, so I'm riding on the graph, looks as I get closer and closer to zero from the right, the y values are approaching three. What's the limit as x approaches zero? Now this is a two-sided limit. These don't match. So since I can't decide what that limit should be, I'm going to say it does not exist. Why? Because those limits don't match. Okay. Now, if the question asked, what is f of 0? Well, since this point is filled in, I'm going to say 3. It didn't ask that, but I'm throwing it in there just for kicks and giggles. Okay. All right. Ne uh, next up, <clears throat> as x approaches 6 from the left. Well, here's x equals 6. As it approaches from the left, it appears to me that this graph is going way down. So I'm going to say negative infinity. As it approaches 6 from the right, looks to me like it's going toward negative infinity again. Okay, so now the question is, uh, as x approaches 6, not one side at a time, what is y approaching? Well, if these two match, then that answer is whatever that answer was. Okay. Now, probably worth noting, and I think I've noted this before, uh, some people say that there is no limit because if, if you have a y value that's going uh, closer and closer to negative infinity, there's no limit to that. It just keeps going. Okay. So I will say that technically, for all three of these, does not exist is an acceptable answer, although I don't think it gives you as much information as saying infinity or negative infinity. Okay, so I actually prefer the infinity or negative infinity when it's appropriate, and uh, um, that's you know that's that's what I would go with, and it's accepted. And now just understand if you know you go off to U of M or MSU or Ohio State or some other scary school other than U of M, uh, if they sorry, if they uh, say look there is no limit, then go with whatever the instructor says, and that is an acceptable way to describe it. Okay. Okay, and now the last question is, where is this continuous? Well, it's continuous everywhere, except the places it's not continuous. That was deep, wasn't it? It is not continuous at x equals 3. Okay, so at x equals, I'm sorry, negative 3, it is not continuous. At x equals 0, it is not continuous. At x equals 2, it is not continuous. At x equals 6, it is not continuous. So where is it continuous? Everywhere but those four places. Okay, so this would be one way you could write it. In general, you wouldn't put a big fat X through the whole thing. You would just draw the one little line to make it not equal to. Okay, just trying to make a point. Ah, point, get it? Okay, uh, <clears throat> I do want to do a quick little add-in uh, of some problems, and the only discontinuity that we have not discussed is at X equals 2. So that's what the, the other add-ons are that are in the, for the video. Okay, so the first one asks, uh, as X I'm just going to spread these out so they can all be on the screen uh, while, whoop, sorry, while uh, we're looking at the graph. Oh, one more. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, so this says, as X approaches to from the left. Here we go. Y is approaching. As x approaches 2 from the right, y is still approaching 1. Yes, I know the point's not there, but don't miss the point huh, of limits. Uh, limits are not, again, again, limits are what are the y values approaching. Okay, there is no y value there. Well, okay, like not right there, but that is what it's approaching. And so the two-sided limit, since these two guys match, the two-sided limit for that point is whatever they were. Okay, and then how do you make a distinction? Well, f of 2, okay, this is f of 2. This is at that order pair 2, negative 1. So that's negative 1, okay? 
All right, well, that is looking at graphs uh, to try and decide what to do with limits. And this is just straight up looking at the graph and answering some questions. And it should also clarify what limits mean. Okay, so uh, we will. Uh, there will be one more video uh, for this practice test, and it deals with uh, average rate of change, instantaneous rate of change, uh, slope of, uh, slope of the tangent line, uh, equation of the tangent line, equation of the normal line, and related stuff. So thanks for watching. This is again Sanford with Flip Math and we're out. Bye.